Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for March 26th, 2021. So happy Friday, everyone. I hope we've all had a good week. It was been it's been a challenging week of price action, but yesterday we experienced a very nice little bounce and relief rally in the market. Now the big question is, can we follow through today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs, and let's take a look at the technicals and see if we can glean some information from that on how we might want to approach the market today on this Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So I hope everyone had a good day yesterday and it was really nice to see that relief coming in. And let's take a look and see what we can get for information on that. First off, as you guys know, I've been drawing this trend line up here over and over and over on this chart. And yesterday, although we pushed down and I was worried that we were gonna push all the way down into this support area, we bounced right off of that trend yesterday bounced off of that trend and started back higher, which was nice to see. Now the question that um, we have to deal with is can we now follow through on that trend? Can we push off of this and continue to follow through? Remember, we still have some modest price resistance in the Dow chart here, and we have some other interesting things kind of cropping up. We heard about the blockage in the Suez Canal, um, they're talking about possible supply chain disruptions, and it could take weeks to clear. Where we've heard about um, North Korea kicking up its heels again, firing off a couple of ballistic missiles, creating some issues, some issues. And unfortunately, we had a weak seven-year bond auction yesterday that is ticking those Treasury yields a little higher this morning. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. And then if you were um, paying attention to what was going on in Congress, and I can certainly understand not wanting to watch that at all, but we have um, uh, kind of some tensions growing there against um, some of the tech giants, social media um, coming under fire and some possible changes there. So not only will tech have to deal with these rising bond rates, um, they may also come under pressure from Congress and some major changes may be on the way, uh, particularly in social media. So keep a close eye on that. So we've got a few things out there creating some uncertainty, obviously, in the market, and we'll want to watch that closely. So right now we're showing bullishness this morning. Bulls are trying to push forward ahead of some economic reports. And technically, we have a pretty darn good chart here on the Dow. Very, very bullish holding its trend. Unfortunately, we can't say that about the other indexes. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY, unfortunately, we broke our upside trend, drifted down below that upside trend. Depending on how you draw that, we've drifted down below that. And we also have to um, fess up to the fact that we ha still have a downtrend a very modest downtrend, albeit, but a downtrend in play here on the 50-day moving average. We also have to look very closely in here and see that we have a significant price resistance level in that chart. Notice that if I redraw that, zoom up here and redraw that downtrend, we've experienced a lot of pop and drops here in the market um, the last few um, days where we would gap up in the morning, push, push, push in the pre-market pump, and by the end of the day, find only sellers. So this morning, we're getting that pre-market pump again. We're going to want to watch that pretty closely as the market opens up. Be careful not to chase. This was a very bullish move for the SPY yesterday. We needed this. We needed that nice relief. Um, although we briefly broke below our 50-day moving average, this right now is a successful test of the 50-day pushing back up. But again, we still have to deal with that price resistance level in here that's kind of been um, giving us some fits. So we're going to want to watch that pretty closely um, this morning as we progress. Hopefully we don't catch another pop and drop pattern. Let's take a look at our Qs. Now the QQQ still 
a beautiful bounce yesterday and it was nice to see that occur but what we're going to have to notice in here is the unfortunate truth that we have a downtrend notice that we made lower highs and we made lower lows in the nasdaq so as we rally back up we're going to want to keep a close eye on price resistance levels up here in the chart and as a matter of fact, notice this morning we're showing just a little bit of bearishness here in the NASDAQ in the pre-market and that fact that we could run right into this price resistance and still continue to fail to the downside. So watch that closely. We are officially in a downtrend here and clearly we continue to struggle with our 50-day moving average and um, a pretty substantial um, moving average squeeze up in this area that is causing um, a considerable level of congestion that we're going to have to clear back to the upside. So a little bit of trouble here still showing in the NASDAQ and um, a lot of work is going to have to be done by the bulls if we're going to correct that. It may be a little bit difficult with rising bond yields. We'll keep a close eye on that and then of course the pressures in Congress. Then let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM has um, some technical damage here as well where we broke through and broke down below price supports in the chart. But we have that good technical um, um, advantage here where we kind of held some price support as well. So nice little bounce back, technically still below resistance in the chart technically still has some work to do. So if we take a look and maybe draw some price resistance right across here, it's gonna be pretty important that we recover, get back above these areas, prove to hold a higher low, and then maybe the bulls can get back on the stick here and get moving, but we still have to worry about those areas where those bears could come in. Primary problem here is that we've got um, oil sector stocks pulling back and financial sector stocks have pull, um, pulling back. Yesterday they caught a little bit of relief rally. That helped a lot. Let's see if they can follow through today. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX, after a wild day of gyrations, you can see we pushed up pretty heavily in that early morning as we were selling off um, in the morning and then reversed and bounced back up nicely. But I don't think we're out of the woods here. We did break back down below this little support level that I've got drawn in the chart. But notice how whippy and choppy this price action has been in here over the last few days. We've been getting lots of pops and drops and then yesterday we had the drop and the reversal back up. So um, some interesting price action here in the VIX. I don't know if we can gain a lot of confidence in this morning's pop-up that we're trying to press up as we see all that volatility um, still creeping up here in the VIX. But let's watch that close. Again, as we continue to push up, we wanna see that VIX falling. We wanna see that VIX down here and failing at price resistance levels. We don't wanna see it holding at price support levels, bouncing and holding on up. So watch that pretty closely. VIX still a little bit uncertain. Then if we take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 gave us the biggest clue yesterday of a possible bounce. And we talked about that yesterday that we were reaching down into this bearish um, reversal zone. And we did actually do that. Yesterday we pushed all the way down in here on that selling that came in in the early morning. And then we started our relief rally and bounced up nicely in the chart but keep in mind we still have a long ways to go and we have to also remember that although we have um, this bounce underway and we're trying to push up this morning gives us a lot of upside room to potentially move um, to that upside but we also have to keep in mind since we have bounced we have opened up that door for that possible continuation to the downside. So got to stay on our toes. Remember T2122 doesn't give us directional assistance except for those extreme areas and it worked yesterday perfectly telling us that we were kind of an extreme oversold condition in the short term and um, it doesn't tell us anything here today um, which way we might go. So we'll want to just stay on our toes and watch that carefully and just realize we could go either direction pretty easily. 
Let's take a look at T2101, just really quick, the overall market breadth. Notice that the market breadth, we're up here challenging this uh, downtrend area in market breadth. We're going to have to keep a close eye on that. See if we can get enough push through or follow through energy um, to maybe break through the upside of that with the bulls let's keep a close eye see if that breadth can really start to pick up or if we begin to diminish along this downtrend line again then let's take a look at um our bonds doggone bonds um those bonds are uh ticking up again this morning so uh, 10 year bonds ticking up to 1.65 percent this morning we'll want to keep an eye on that um, if they push back up and that's going to continue to add pressure to that tech sector so watch those closely how about we take a look at our economic calendar for today in our economic calendar we've got a couple things that we're going to want to pay attention to in um on that on that uh pre-market here notice that we have international trading goods and that international trading goods is a market moving potential market moving event um, not that really anybody cares anymore it seems like it, it really doesn't matter how much trade deficit we have we just ignore it so um, it may not be a big deal the one that could be of interest here this morning is this personal incomes and outlays and the consensus on this kind of remarkable um we'll see how the market actually responds notice that our prior report on personal income was an increase of 10 percent um remarkable and now consensus is looking for a minus 7.2 percent that is a major pullback in um in that um, personal income so we may want to keep a close eye on that this morning um if if we happen to come in worse than that, that could have a negative effect on the market. So watch that close. And then later on today, we do have consumer sentiment that we'll want to pay attention to um, coming out. So not a whole lot on the economic calendar, but enough that we have to pay attention, at least in the pre-market here, um, how those reports come out. On the earnings calendar, kind of an interesting day. We have... Um, well, we have about uh, 40, 50 companies on the calendar, but we have very few very verified reports. And um, I couldn't come up with a single one that I really thought was a notable report today. So really not much there on the um, earnings calendar to, to inspire the market or move us around, which can be either a good or bad thing. So watch um, just kind of keep an eye on it but I don't think we're going to see anything in that earnings calendar today to really um, create even a ripple in the market which gives me some time to talk about a couple of things first off I want to remind everyone that um, next week Monday Tuesday and Wednesday we're going to throw the doors open for hit and run candlesticks and right way options you will be able to attend our trading rooms for free so I want to make sure please subscribe to the channel stay up on um, uh, stay up on this information because um, we'll open those doors and you'll be able to attend and um, see what we're all about see what we're doing for monday tuesday and wednesday and also one of the reasons you may want to be popping into the rooms is we are going to be um, giving away soon a three thousand dollar falcon trading computer so i think um, make sure you pay attention subscribe to the channel stay on top of that so that you can get registered for um, a chance to win that uh, trading computer it's the same trading computer that I use in fact I've I've got two of them here in my office right now and um, they are fantastic machines with one of the best customer service I, I've never seen customer service like this honestly in the computer industry so uh, take a look at um, that you may want a chance to win that computer so with that how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but please keep in mind guys that as I point out stocks that could be setting up um, they're not a recommendation to buy or sell any security so um, 
do your own due diligence. Make sure these trades fit your um, risk tolerance. And remember to plan, plan your risk carefully. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade. Let's take a look at TAP. Uh, TAP is one of those consumer defensive companies that uh, I've been talking about here recently. And notice that we've been moving up in this nice little upside trend. Broke through some resistance here in the chart rested a little bit and we had a nice little pop there on yesterday now i ended up not buying this i'm just not overly confident in the overall market condition remember yesterday i talked just a little bit about um we have to we have to pace ourselves with the market just because we might get up the market's open doesn't necessarily mean that today is the day to put risk on in the market. So I'm being a little bit cautious and careful here still until we clear some of these overhead resistance points. But I gotta tell you, I really like this chart and by the end of the day, I was kind of regretting that I didn't pick it up. So keep a close eye on TAP. I think there's still that possibility that we could just kind of drift sideways here over to the trend. But watch that closely, TAP coming up nicely. In that same, um, with that same idea we're seeing some pretty nice moves in um coca-cola coca-cola moving up slowly i still think there's a lot of work here for coke to do but keep in mind that these defensive sector stocks are doing quite well and coke perking up here looking pretty decent you might want to keep an eye on that chart and keeping along with the drink theme take a look at starbucks now starbucks failed here recently just pushed back really hard but notice this big bullish engulfing candle recovery that we started to see in Starbucks I've been watching this as you guys know and drawing out this uh, chart over and over again hoping that we would kind of rest right in this area and then push on through right now we still have that opportunity that that could occur this nice bullish candle pushing on up in the pre-market today if we rest right in here we could see that opportunity of that popping on through to the upside keep a close eye on starbucks um i have been mentioning stocks like 3m and altria for some time and the reason i continue to come back here is i want to show you guys that when the market is really really choppy like it's been lately sometimes it's a good idea to slow your trading down and if you take a look at this weekly chart um right way options we got into 3m here um, on this bullish candle and you can see we have suffered no pressure on that weekly chart in some of these really old boring dividend paying stocks um, they're holding up extremely well and if we just slow down a little bit you can see this is a weekly chart um, that's four weeks with no pressure to the upside or to the downside and um, a beautiful move in that chart we also traded mo now i did sell mo and took my profits in it but notice um, that weekly chart in altria how beautifully set up that was and just no pressure in that stock now i still think mo needs to pull back and rest a little bit and i want to re-enter that trade but i just wanted to point those out that sometimes slowing down makes for much better trading in a market that's acting like this let's go back to the daily and let's take a look at philip morris now philip morris has been doing some really nice things here um, running up in the trend and notice that we've got this little resting pullback that's coming into that chart and we're moving back over here toward this longer term trend keep an eye on this we've br we're breaking through some pretty significant levels of price resistance in the chart and we've broken a very long long-term downtrend so keep an eye on this if this continues to rest out in here there is that opportunity that could perk on up let's take a look at some of the financial sector stocks if we take a look at XLF on its own XLF perking back up now obviously we lost some support in this chart you can see we broke that support and now we're rallying back up the the important thing once we rally is to make sure we can hold up here hold in this area and then show us that bullishness to push back up so you might want to start looking at stocks like um, oh, wfc um, 
moving up, pushing right back through that resistance. And you can see we're getting a little pop and drop this morning in the pre-market on that candle. But that's okay, a little rest or pullback in here that holds price support, sets up that opportunity for the upside. Take a look at like BAC. BAC pushing back above this trend, trying to hold up. So there are um, financial stocks trying to pick back up. And then last but not least, you might want to take another look at energy. Energy um, holding on, XLE holding on to this big downtrend break, holding it as support and we're trying to push through today. So keep a close eye on those energy sector stocks, um, starting to look a little bit bullish here and holding those support levels really adds to um, the, that potential upside. So keep a close eye there. So there's a few things for you to look at, a few charts for you to consider. I wanna wish you all a fantastic day and as importantly as anything else, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Be safe out there. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great weekend, everyone.